So I'm working on this website. It's super simple HTML, CSS, and I just want to have a, a YouTube video embedded. And so I'm going to start with just going to YouTube, pulling my iframe, and then pasting it into my code. What's a very, very common issue here on most web platforms is that once you paste an iframe into your code, it's always that same size. So we're gonna fix that super quick. It's gonna take you zero coding that you have to write. I already did it all. So we're just gonna take that same exact iframe to this new website I made. The link is in the description. Paste your iframe, you generate a code, you copy it, and then you paste that back into your website. And what this does is fix the mobile responsiveness. If that's too much science for you to understand, it basically, it'll look good on desktop or phones. What happens with the first iframe that YouTube gives you is that it's a set width amount. So it's always that same amount of width, no matter what you're on. With the code you can generate here for free, it'll work on either one. And here I have an example on the same page below. When I shrink it all the way down to mobile, the actual YouTube iframe, the one I just pull, no extra CSS, completely breaks my website. Like It just stretches, it scrolls sideways, it's just no fun. So all we do is just paste in your iframe and you're good to go. Your YouTube watch page, hit the share button and it'll show the embed code. And all you do is paste that there, you're good. And this will also work with Vimeo. Here we go. So here in Vimeo, we're just gonna copy this embed code get it onto the site. I'll do both examples, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same exact issue. It's gonna break the mobile. Even though this video is not displaying it because of the privacy settings, you still see that the frame is there and it's breaking it. With Vimeo, you just have to copy that iframe code out because it does give you the extra like, title text. Click the copy button and paste that back into your code. This will work on WordPress or any other like, blog platform you have. So as we see here, uh, the CSS code is working. It's regenerating the page as we stretch the width. And that's it. Um, if you need help, there's um, there's an FAQ below, and my email's there too. If you want to get more in depth. Here's one more freebie for your website. On Intendi, hop over to the subscribe tab and go down below. You'll see a code pen with some HTML in it. Copy that into your website. Now we're gonna go back to the to Intendi and you'll see I placed a link to your YouTube channel. Here you can get your YouTube channel's ID. Copy this ID, then paste it inside of the code. And once you paste it, you'll have a subscribe button on your website that works directly with YouTube. Super easy to use. Hope it works out for you. Enjoy.